Hello. Another 10 cent multi table hold'em. Still no Omaha because barely anyone's registered. Anyway, I'll try and analyze and pay attention on this one. Watch everyone and guess what they've got. I think I'll make my guess on, I don't know when, I was going to say the river. He's gone all in. Jack six of spades is my first guess. I could just call it and either double up or get knocked out. I won't bother. I was in an okay state. Couldn't have got a better flop. Okay, Regace. Okay, I can still make a straight with it. Or an ace high flush. Well, I got three high flush. <laughs> draw at least, a three high flush draw and a pair. I don't want nothing to do with it really. So, would have made my ace or my three high flush. That's two hundred. So I wouldn't have my free high flush anymore. Don't know why the tens called that. I don't know why, but didn't bet more on the flop as well. Probably best thing to do on the flop is go all in. Just go all in, or yeah, I'd say go all in. Or you could do what he did, bet a tiny amount, but just go all in. They'll either call you for a club. Even then, if the board pairs, you've beaten them, or they won't hit their club, or they will hit your, their club and you get knocked out. Then again, you might get caught by a straight, and you're fucked. But you can still hit, pair the board or whatever. I don't know. I could try and take it. I don't think it'll work, but let's see. Called by a pair of jacks, no. Nope. Well, it's nice to know I can still bet and people will fold. I guess the best place to bet in these tiny, or these tournaments that don't mean a lot is on the river. Because most of the time people are going to call you to get cards. Regardless of if they've got a gut shot or whatever. But on the end they might fold because they're not paying to see another card. So that's the best place to bet. On the flop if they've got a flush draw you'll never get rid of them. Straight draw you probably won't get rid of them either. If they've got top pair you won't get rid of them either. So on the river is the best place. Oh, 
that two's one. I got a pretty hand. It's not the cursed one. Those are the clubs. Same hand, but clubs. That's the cursed hand. Well, it was in the last tournament. This hand, it might not be. It's spades. Still black, but it's spades. Yep, that cursed hand cost me on the last hand because I decided I'd put my faith in it. Since it had lost twice in the tournament, there, were good chance, there was a good chance it wouldn't lose, but it did. Oh well, let's see how its cursed friend or non-cursed friend does. Shit so far. Oh, cool, 20. I'll call a minimum raise as well. Don't know why you bother. Maybe you're on a flush draw. Even then, it don't make sense. Alright, he's either got 8-10 or 8-5. Or he's got the diamonds. My guess would be 8 10 or 8 5. Because if he hit his diamonds, I don't see why he'd push all in like that. Unless it was really shit and he just wanted to get rid of all the higher diamonds that were out there. We could have had two pair or a set. A set springs to mind because now there's straight draws and flush draws, and he's got a set and he wants to get rid of everything, so he just goes all in. Or he did have the diamonds, that's what stands out the most, so he probably did have that rather than all these other more advanced plays. I'd say he just had diamonds and wanted to get paid. I've got a pretty hand. I'll call that. It's too pretty to fold. That's good, I get in cheap. Not bad, I guess, but don't think much of it. Get rid of that. I guess an overpair. My first thought was jacks, but I don't think it's jacks. Second thought was aces, I don't think it's aces. So I'm guessing kings. I'll just say kings. Or ace king. Either one of them. We had ace nine. But I'll go with kings. It looked like he was thinking about it and then just pushing in like that. It looked like an overpair. Or he caught a set. Either one of them. I don't think a set though, I'd say an overpair. I have to guess what this one's got. Jacks. There, I'll say jacks for him. You, you called fives. There, fives and jacks. This is jacks, this is fives, and you, you're king queen. That's what I'll guess. King queen, jacks, and fives. Well, there's the fives. I was wrong about you. Hmm. I've put them in the wrong place. But I don't think you had jacks, did you? You wouldn't throw away jacks. You probably had one jack, and I'm just getting confused with two. Or maybe you had the king-queen. Oh, 
Oh, he beat the aces. Didn't notice. Four aces. Beaten by a measly little five. 